Chamonix. Well, like a two hour hike above Chamonix plus a gondola. But uh, yeah, pretty epic up here. Uh, competition is tomorrow, so I figured we'd just get a little exploring in and check out a lake we haven't been to before. Do some, some mindfulness in the mountains, you know? Hard to go wrong up here. But other than that, super psyched to be back here in Chamonix and yeah, have another chance at a lead semifinal and more than that, really just like connecting on the wall and flowing well. For some reason it took me like two weeks to remember how to like to breathe like I was last season, uh, which helps so much, especially while sport climbing. Pro tip, use your cues with the skin on. Got you more fiber. Pains me to say, but I couldn't order espresso. They didn't, didn't have a machine, so. Just had to go for the, uh, the normal black coffee. I don't even know how to rate non-espresso. It gets a... It goes on the water scale. A water scale, yeah, of hydration. Feels pretty hydrating. So, I go out 31st, climbs look super, super fun. I have the whole thing memorized. So now it's just time to do a flowy, flowy warm up, hop on some kind of more comfy style boulders to get the like execution firing and then do a couple circuits, rest, watch a couple people on the wall and then hop on. This backdrop is just unbelievable. <laughs> Okay, we just finished up uh, the first climb. Ah, didn't go quite as well as I had hoped. I still need to get my warm up dialed in, which is embarrassing because I should really have that figured out by now. But we're just walking to the farmer's market, which apparently only sells cheese. Just gonna grab some lunch and then head back to ISO and warm up for the second route. Just got done with the second one. Pretty terminally pumped, but definitely climbed better. Felt like how I should have placed, I guess, on that one um, with my level of fitness right now. I was more kind of frustrated about the first one just because I screwed up my warm up and got a little bit too much of the, the deep pump. Yeah, overall, like I think every single rope climb has been an improvement since the last, like starting in Ennsberg. Starting pretty low, but uh, every, every climb has been an improvement, which is good. Hey. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo.
Chloe. Allez, Chloe. Allez, Chloe. Come on. Allez, Chloe. Back at Arcos, how do you say it? Genoa, 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 Genoa. Same, same situation as last year. Uh, just after semifinals, and I guess last year we went like the day after finals. But anyways, this year didn't make semifinals, so we're going this. <laughs> we're going right now, <laughs> as soon as possible. And yeah, gonna do some sick bouldering and then some circuits on this roof. They don't let you use actual chalk here, so it's hard to tell, but his, his whole bag is actually just filled with liquid chalk. This gym was like empty 20 minutes ago, and now just packed with World Cup climbers. Started with the bets. One espresso, reflash it. I forgot about the espresso bets. That's it's the only way you get things done in Europe. Espresso or gelato, as you want. I almost. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, it's not uh, uh, Hi, Ross. Come on, come on. Ari, 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 ari. All right, eliminate time. That the at the crimp, just pop up. Nice, now sick. Come on, Sean. 
Come on, Sean. Yes, 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 yes. Yoo-hoo! Just like last year, we made it upstairs to the rest of the slabs. Session all the purple ones. Goes black tape and then purple tape is the hardest ones. So a couple more slabs and then we'll hit the roof for the lip um. Ale Diego. So fun session with all these guys. Just way more fun when you have a big crew. Even if you can't understand a word anyone's saying, the next project is learning French. Just a light three hour session later, we're onto the ropes. Time to get pumped. This is how the French train for lead season. Come on, Jesse. Yes. Oh my God. Incredible. That's actually like the hardest, one of the hardest in the gym. You just did it after every purple one. Any reflections from Le Comp? Finally, for the first time on like the World Cup stage, felt like I could sort of think while I was on the wall. Good. But uh, the fitness needs a little touch up. Yeah. A little touch up on the fitness. Good to be able to experiment, practice. I think we're, we're in similar boats in the sense that like right now winning for us is just like climbing well and like climbing presently and worrying about like the lack of fitness doesn't do you a lot of good. You want to be like pragmatic with what you're like concerned about and like at least in my case like I think I let a little like frustration get in there because I like, wasn't as fit as I wanted to be or like have been in the past or like knew I like what my goal was for this season but the sooner you can like kind of let go of that and just focus on like what's in your control uh like the faster you can like adapt and climb to your potential in in the moment and then like outside of the comp like this session and the next like two weeks basically we'll do all that we can do to to gain fitness and 
push that bar of like ultimate performance, but in the moment and like when you're at the comp, it doesn't do any good to be flustered by the coulda, woulda, shoulda mentality.